Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and welcome back, Framework Fortune community. It's time for another crypto update. A lot has been transpiring, so let's not waste any time and jump right in. Now, we are continually hearing that it's going to be the fall of Bitcoin. It's going to be the end of cryptos, blah, blah, blah. This is the overall chart of Bitcoin. I am not the biggest fan of Bitcoin, but you still have to realize how much money is involved in these cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is a new marketplace. So when you compare Bitcoin to, say, the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has been going up since 2000. Of course, if you go all the way back to the beginning of the stock market, it started with very little money in it. It did not start out with a whole ton of stocks, right? All these companies had to come out and start issuing public shares over time. And more and more people, because the population has grown, started invested in stocks. So more and more volume comes into it. More and more money is in the NASDAQ. The same thing is happening with bitcoin and ethereum but you look at the market cap of bitcoin it is 763 billion dollars in us 763 billion right so that's a lot of money well let's look at the nasdaq's market cap and compare it the market cap on the nasdaq is 27 billion so there is actually way more money in bitcoin than in the nasdaq way more 27 billion compared to the 763 billion if we compare bitcoin to the cme the chicago mercantile exchange uh, this is one of the oldest running exchanges and the biggest futures exchange and commodities exchange it has a total market cap of 81 billion here is gold's market cap 12 trillion with bitcoin in this pullback that it's having down to 40,000 when we're looking at the overall time frame it's still actually it could pull back to 35,000 right across here or maybe even 25,000. Now, if this area was to break, this 25,000 area, we could see, you know, a bearish move overall on Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is still bullish on the entire chart. His Dogecoin has been going a little bit crazy uh, today here, up 20%. Shot from, uh, looks like it was around 13, dropped to about 12, and then shot all the way up to the 200 day at 17 cents. So, Dogecoin's got to break that 200 day, which is also the overall channel downtrend. If it could break that, Dogecoin could go back bullish. But that is a lot of resistance. It was rejected last time back here. And I'm not a fan of Dogecoin. Anyway, this hype is, I guess, coming from Elon trying to buy Twitter. I don't know exactly what the correlation is, what I'm going to assume. And you guys can let me know if you know more about this. That the hype for Dogecoin off of Elon Musk buying Twitter is maybe Elon Musk will use Dogecoin uh, as a token for Twitter or a coin for Twitter. You know, he could put Twitter on blockchain and make Dogecoin the official coin of that chain or maybe build it on top. I don't know. There's a lot of things he could do, but I guess that is the hype behind Dogecoin with the correlation of Twitter. It would be somehow integrated into Twitter. I, and if there's any validity to that, I have no idea. But like I said, let me know. We're seeing everything down on its trend lines in the crypto for the most part, but they're bouncing off of it. Like NMR is up today, 10.75%. You can see it shot up. It is getting a little rejected around these areas, but that is a lot of congestion. You can see back through here in February it was congestion. But all NMR has to do 
it just break up through that congestion and it could get back up to testing that downtrend. So we'll be giving a very close eye, of course, on the short-term movements. But as of now, even if we do have a big hard pullback because of everything going on in all of the global economies, then uh, you know, I, I don't expect it to be too strong of a pullback. Like I, I doubt we would see Ethereum all the way down to 1200 on this trend line. I mean, it would have to drop straight now because if it started dropping slowly, it would probably hit around 2000 before it ever got way down to 1200 So it, the odds of it getting down to 2000 the probabilities don't seem to be in the favor of that. But we'll see. We'll keep it all updated. Now on to gods for all my gods unchained peeps. Gods is still downtrending. It did have that nice little pop when the set came out. Shot up to about $1.25 in a couple of days. But as I was saying last week, I figured after this set started rolling, people would be buying all these cards. So they would be buying the cards in gods, which would be adding some of the gods back into the supply. So we're still getting that pressure uh, on gods. And we're getting the pressure from the technical analysis side where it's been in this sloping channel this whole entire time. And if it doesn't hold a dollar here, which it did crack below it, it dropped to about 93 cents earlier today. But since then, it's pushed back over a dollar. So if it can't hold a dollar here, then it is going to drop lower. And we may, we may see gods down to 90 cents. Now, if we bounce... You know, this holds up, and then tomorrow we bounce. God has the opportunity, if it can break around that 125 area, to test 150. And then at the break of 150, we will be in a new overall uptrend and broken out of this previous downtrend. So we're getting super close to seeing some type of direction shift in gods whether it be a hard yank to the downside or it starts popping back up personally i think we'll probably see it start pushing back up as i think the nasdaq is going to try to rebound a little bit through this week at least the first couple of days here so ethereum and bitcoin they're already showing strength today back over those support levels gods IMX, they should both get another little push. And the dollar has been strong, but that was a little bit of a sketchy crack there. That was a all-new low for God's tokens. But as it is an all-new low, is it possible that it is the bottom for God's? IMX, same thing when you look at it. Uh, IMX is very close as well to breaking its overall downtrend and channel, which you can see IMX every time it's come down to this 175 area over this month has been bought right back up and pushed over it. So it does need to try to break here or it could come down, you know, maybe even back to this low of $1.10 if we don't see a breakout here soon back over $2. So with Dogecoin popping, what is going on with Shiba? Well, Shiba is actually up. A little bit today as well up 2.6 percent and it is still holding this consolidation so we draw this consolidation box here and you can see it was congestion back through here and just this is all just been congestion and it's about midways in the box so if sheep continues to bounce up which it might we may see sheep have another little pop up to that starting of the 200 day moving average and the top of this channel now i want to jump into a new nft game that is out magic of universe been out a little bit it's on binance and we're going to hop in here graphics don't look too bad but i'm going to just hop in and show you guys a little bit of the gameplay and talk about it. i'll be doing a, a deeper dive on magic of universe uh, here real soon now you do have to have a MetaMask wallet with the Binance smart chain in your networks 
There may be some other wallets you can use, but MetaMask is the easiest one for me, and that's where most of my stuff is. And this thing is going to load up here. So this game has a lot of different features. And we'll see those all in game here. So you got to sign in to your MetaMask, of course, to get into the game. So Magic Universe... It is a innovative business simulation game with the theme of Western magic where players require courage to fight and build more layers of illusions to earn gold coins, ultimately save the chaotic god realm caused by the invasion of unknown alien gods in the universe. So there's a storyline to all this, but players will experience a world of magic and fantasy and a magical journey is waiting for you. So this is set up obviously for a mobile game and this is on desktop you can play it on desktop but you can see this is more aimed and geared towards a mobile game i have all these little things here that i gotta collect these puzzle pieces these money bags these gold coins i'm just gonna collect those real quick and with this game you don't have to spend like a super ton of time on it to build up your nft collection and your holdings of the two different coins currently both tokens for magic of the universe are around i think a penny so this is mgc the gold token mgc is the in-game token but it is also the symbol of, of ip equity of the nft on the chain and then the purple one is CRA, which is used for IP equity distribution in the DAO community. After creators complete MGC content through DAO community screening and voting, the official participants and creators will jointly hold CRA tokens of this IP and future IP revenue will be shared by the whole ecology. It has some interesting economics to it, the way it plays out. Look across here and go to market and click that. It will take you to their NFT marketplace where you can find uh, all the different warriors for sale. And it's still a little bit light on the information. This is a very new game. But you do get a little description. You get to see the graphic of the NFT that you're purchasing. And then it tells you the rarity, the rank level, property, all of that. And you have all kinds of different ones to choose from. And they can be upgraded. And they all have their own little different skills and specialties inside of the game. So I'm going to charge this up so you guys can see this thing start going. And that's all it does. Once you charge it, they're going to do their thing and start mining, basically. Your coins, your MGC, and your puzzle pieces. Those puzzle pieces, if you go to your backpack, you'll be able to see them. Once you get a thousand of them that's called debris it can be made into a treasure chest and then that treasure chest you can either get some of these in-game nft items or one of the actual nft characters another thing with this game it has in-game staking so you can stake your mgc for three different cycles and earn some very nice aprs so this game even though it's new, has a lot going on so far set up and does have some interesting potential for mobile blockchain gaming. We'll be covering more of Magic Universe, including the fighting, which just got added into the game here real soon where you can fight other players. So that's it for me today guys join me tomorrow here on the channel or on twitch for some live gods unchained gameplay appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there until next time this is war with the enemy think that it was meant to be living in a time where disease is on every screen i won't let them fester me i know most are festering negativity is a plague for the mentally